Yo, what's up guys? Jesse LaFlair here from LaFlair Parkour and Team Tempest bringing you a tutorial on the gate vault. All right, let's do it. So check it out. Today we're gonna start on this handrail. Um, it's a great progression into an actual gate vault over a higher gate or fence. Um, the reason we're using a handrail is because they have great grip, okay? You can actually control yourself really well and get the technique down of going over, holding, and dropping to the other side. So the most important thing to know while doing this is that your momentum is going to drive you over. Your hands need to have a good hold of the object, okay? That is what is going to keep us safe and control us on the way down. So really simply what I like to do, um, when we get to a higher fence you'll see that we're going to actually go into almost like a front support and then drop down but when you have something like this uh, that you can actually step into it's really nice to let your hips or stomach ride in and let your legs transfer out so if my left hand is holding my right foot is going to be the opposite keeping me balanced so when I step in I go right foot left hand on and then drive my outside left leg down and over. Okay. Now, you can see how on that one, I can actually control my momentum quite a bit because I have almost like this human flag technique going on where I'm actually pulling and pushing in the same or opposite direction. Now the angle of which you put your hand is very important. Make sure that you're not putting it this way because if we went to go over the rail, this is going to slip off, okay? There's nothing actually holding us. So make sure when you do it, palm faces in, fingers down. This way when you start to go over, you have a lot of grip here. Cool. So there's obviously a couple different ways you can do this. You can do that one, which is the safe way of getting down and over this obstacle. Or you can spice it up a little bit by stepping in, dropping, and kicking out into almost like a front handspring or cartwheel. If you're nervous to do this at all, I suggest trying to work backwards and get a good understanding of what it's gonna feel like on the way down. So, Figure out where your hand's gonna be, which hand you're gonna put where, and then on this, come to the opposite side of the rail and get used to this idea of just almost jumping and letting yourself slowly absorb your momentum on the way down. So we're here. Whoa. Good, you get used to that arm strength and what you need to do in terms of pulling, pushing, okay? So now we're gonna do it on a higher fence. Now this isn't a chain link fence, so you're not gonna get some weird full hand grip but you can still grab one of these in a way that works. Okay, so get up on it however you'd like, give yourself that front support, and remember that your top hand is going to be backwards so that when you fall, it holds on. Once you're in this position, adjust your hands, start to spin over. Now this is up to you. You can do two versions. You can grab as low as you can, which then will keep you essentially where you need to be um, or you can grab higher so that you almost have like a pulling force. What I would suggest is in a position like this where this fence isn't that high, I can grab up a little bit higher where my arm is naturally going to be when I come down. Okay? If I were to reach too low on this one, this, isn't, this, this doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't actually support my body. So keep that hand wherever it's going to end up being best on the other side. One way to do that is just figure out when you go up to it where that line is. So you can go here, pop up, and then grab there, and then you're out. It's also pretty important to know that this vault can be used with a lot of speed. As long as you come up into it and your hips catch this low enough, and you get your hand positioning on right, you could flip right over, more like that handspring technique, and continue to run out of it. Check one out. Okay, so you wanna do it on a chain link fence, that's cool. Your main thing is gonna be grabbing the fence the right way and not hurting your hand on the way down. So, a couple other elements you're gonna to have to deal with are these top little spokes to try to keep your body off a little bit more by putting a little bit more pressure in those arms as you let your legs come over. Here we go. Get up however you want, turn that hand, you're here, start to drive over and hold it on the way down. This will allow you to control yourself in case something went wrong and you can hold on strong and protect your body. Cool. All 
All right, guys, that's it for your gate vault tutorial. I hope this helps out. Um, thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, check out all the other tutorials on this page, and let me know in the comment section below what type of video you would like to see next. And if it's a tutorial, tell me which one you want me to do. Peace out, everybody.